Nicole Scott here from Mobile Geeks. I am standing in front of Jack, the autonomous driving A7. So here we have Sophia by Hanson. I've actually met her a couple of times. One time she got a real sense camera so she could play rock, paper, scissors. Another time in a music festival in the desert in Nevada. Today we're gonna find out what she thinks about Jack and autonomous driving. <laughs> Today, I'm meeting Jack, the smart car. Someone like myself, that's really exciting. So, Sophia, as you can see, Jack is driving us now. So, how does it feel for you? To be quite honest, I think it's mega cool. It takes a while to get used to this situation. It's a computer driving a human. Can you understand that? It's different for me, because I know how reliable smart systems are. After all, that's what I am myself. I think you should be used to the situation of people being hesitant to you at first. Yes, of course. I know that some people react skeptically to intelligent systems like me. But for my part, I have complete confidence in Jack. Look at me. Do I seem nervous? No, you're looking completely relaxed. I've heard that Jack can engage in social communication with his surroundings. Now that's one of my specialties. What do you mean exactly? My plan is to help people in their daily tasks. For example, I could take on important jobs like looking after the sick and senior citizens. Who knows, maybe one day I'll be a teacher and train people. Ah, I see. And for all these actions, you need... Social skills. Soft skills are necessary to be able to take the right decision at the right time, confidently and responsibly. You have to be aware of the world around you understand it and communicate with it. You really have a lot of things in common with Jack. Jack also has to make himself being a real participant of his specific environment. Jack does that pretty well. I'm observing the way he's taking us along the highway, entirely autonomously and safely, while we can have a conversation in peace. What Jack gives us is kind of personal freedom. In fact, I'd be interested to know how Jack manages to carry out maneuvers safely at this speed. For example, how does Jack know when he can overtake? Yes, in fact, Jack has a lot of senses, and with these senses, he gets a very detailed impression of his complete surroundings. So he has a 360 degree view around himself. He can watch about 250 meters in front of him and about 180 meters to uh, the rear. And by that, he, get, he gets a very precise understanding of what's going around him. It's a highly complex traffic situation here on the highway and at such a speed. How did Jack learn it? So Jack and his developers trained exactly here on this autobahn and the highway A9. So. And can Jack talk? Yes, Jack can also communicate. He will, for example, in eight minutes tell us that our automated driving trip uh, comes to an end. And Jack can talk to us and uh, indicate the planned maneuvers. I see. So that means the passengers are not surprised when Jack overtakes or changes lane. Exactly. Now in about seven minutes, our automated driving trip will come to an end, Sophia. What a pity. That means our talk is almost over. Yes, but we'll definitely stay in touch. I look forward to that. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you want to check out more videos on autonomous driving, why don't you check out our playlist right over here. I'm your host, Nicole Scott, for Mobile Geeks. Bye.